Hey guys, it's me, and today I'm going to be showing you guys part two of my, um, Jason hockey masks. These are only the ones that I've painted and made. Um, uh, yeah. So, first this is my updated part six Jason mask. This, so basically, like, what I did was I put some more black around the bullet hole. So it's like, um, and I made it a little bigger. So that it's kind of, like, bullet sized. Um, because I actually have a bullet shell that I found in the woods, so I compared it. Um, then I made the chevron a bit darker and then made it a little um, bigger. I, I like rubbed some paint off the nose like to give it that worn look um, with some sandpaper. And then I gave it some more aging stuff. And I painted the straps kind of brown because it's actually made out of um, brown leather in the movie. And then I put these two, I painted these just two silver things. Um, yeah, it's my part six. Uh, this is my part three. Jason mask, um, yeah, I really like this one, actually, um, but when I was spray painted it and dried it, it kind of gave it this bumpy texture look, which I actually am okay with, uh, I still, I scraped some more paint off there and then smudged some gray paint on it to be given, uh, again, like, more of an aged look, I, um, I put the chevron, but made it a different looking chevron, and scraped some paint off around it, like, over here, under that chevron, over here, and just kind of around the mask to try to give it that like, worn look like he's been in the face. I really like this one. I, um, yeah. And Oh, and I also kind of pressed it like this to try to give it a more skinny look because that's kind of how it is in the movie. Yeah. Um, this is my part 8 Jason mask. Uh, last time I showed it to you guys, it was a lot really orange, but I repainted it to get it more yellow and then orange. And I still have the black stuff over the eyes. And I made the chevrons darker. And I made the one over here. Um, I went and made this one smaller. And then these smaller. And it adds more scratches and stuff. Yeah. Uh, this is my part for Jason Mask. The updated version. Uh, the last time I showed you guys, it was really messy because that was the first time I used um, my paints, so I kind of tried to make it better. Um, yeah, this chevron, I rubbed it off so that it's like, you know, just like scraped down here. And then I rubbed the chevron over here off and did some scratches with an uh, X-Acto knife. And then I mixed a bunch of colors together to get this dried paint look. I mean, this dried blood look, sorry, in the corner. And I put some more black scratches and stuff. Uh... This chevron is just, I um, darkened it a bit, and then I take, took some paint off here, around the eye, and here, and on the nose, and yeah, that's my part four. Um, this is my part seven Jason mask. Um, I put some, like, well, uh, I, like... I made the crack a little bigger, and then I put the scratches and stuff like about with paint over here, and I made the chevron dark, and then just made it a little bit smaller. And the crack, I just add some yellow to give it like an aged look. For part seven, um, this is my part five Roy mask. Um, yeah, this one I made this chevron a bit bigger than this one because I noticed that's how it was in the movie, and then I did like I painted like a faded blue chevron because if you look really closely one of the top chevrons actually like really faded so you can barely notice it but it's a little bit blue there um then I had some like paint down here and stuff because you know he painted this himself and I did notice some paint and then I scraped it over here and just gave it like more of an aged and worn look um oh and then here is my final like this is my Jason goes to hell hockey mask that I added some more burnt looks to it over here and smudged it more and then I put the and then I drew the bullet hole over here and then made that blocker and then I scraped some paint over here and kind of chipped it off a bit. And yeah, um those are my hockey masks. Uh thanks for watching and yeah.